Sometimes when you're working with geographic data, you have lots of small areas and you might want to combine them into big areas. So in this example, I've got the counties in the lower 48 US states. And what I want to do is I want to make a states file out of these. So first of all, I'm gonna look at the attribute table. And in that I can see if I sort this table by state FP, so that's the state FIPS code, what I can see is each state has a unique FIPS code. These are area codes for states. Counties have unique codes, so there's this GOID column, and that's got a unique code for each county. But each state has a FIPS code, so we can dissolve the counties layer based on the state FIPS code layer, and it's going to give us one state for each county. So all the counties in Alabama, for example, we will be combined into one shape and so on. So let's take a look at how to do this. You can go via the vector menu and then if you wanted to, you could find it in vector geoprocessing tools and then dissolve. I like to just hit the processing toolbox button and search for it and then look under vector geometry. I'll double click on dissolve. The input layer is the only one we have. The dissolve field, we want to dissolve it together based on the state FIPS code. So I can just tick that and click OK. If I want to save the layer to a new shape file, I could choose save to file. If I want to save it to a geo package, I could do that. I'm not going to save this as a permanent layer now, but if you want to save the layer, use one of these options. I'm just going to create a temporary layer to show you how it works. If I hit run, it will run. It'll take a couple of moments. I can see the progress. If you have more areas and a slow computer, it can take longer, but the progress bar shouldn't take too long to get to 100%. Okay, the process is complete. Let's close this. We can see our states and I'm gonna change the symbology. So the simple fill is transparent. I'll click apply and okay. And there we have our states created from our counties. And this is particularly useful if you say have counties and you want to map the state boundaries too, but perhaps you have a state boundaries map that doesn't exactly match the outline of the counties. If you want one that's perfectly overlaid on top of it, sometimes this can be a reason you would use a dissolve. If I open the table, we can see that we have at the top of the table, it says 49, we've got individual so it's 48 states plus DC, individual FIPS codes for each individual county. And there is a state name column which tells us the name of each state. So we could use that for labeling. One last tip, if you do something like this and you don't save it to a permanent layer like I did, so I just ran it and it created a temporary layer, you'll see a little microchip icon. If I now want to change my mind and save this, I can click on that click the browse button and choose to save this file as a permanent new layer. So that's how we can dissolve stuff and super quick and super simple in QGIS.